Hey guys, welcome to another A-Level Maths Reviewing video. Today we're taking a look at some more statistics. We're taking a look at chapter 4, one of the shortest chapters across the whole A-Level Maths, which is correlation. So, should be a really quick video. There shouldn't be too much to advise. Um, so yeah, let's just jump straight into it. This question here, um, you know, kind of like similar to GCSE Maths, we're essentially just looking at a bit of data. Um, you know, can we tell what the correlation is? And then this part, this part B, this is quite a common A-level maths question, um, being able to interpret the regression line. So part A, um, if we want to give the name of this correlation for this um, set of data here, well, we can either use the table or we can use the graph. Um, if we look at the graph, the fact that it's going upwards in this direction, well, that would indicate it's positive correlation because as the number of items, so that's not number of times, number of items increases, um, the time is also increasing as well. Okay, so positive correlation. But the fact that they lie essentially almost on a straight line, that would indicate that it's strong positive correlation. So strong positive correlation. Essentially, R is going to be very close to 1. Okay, so strong positive correlation. Part B now, we want to give an interpretation of the value 2.64. So remember this regression line, this is a linear equation, and it helps think of y equals mx plus c. So you'll have done this in, I think, chapter 5 from your A-level maths, um, for equations of straight lines. Remember the mx, that's actually gradient, which is what we've got here, that's 2.64n, and the c here is 6.3. Okay, so that's our y-intercept. So the 2.64, well, what we're saying is that for every, so when the item increases by 1, so when n increases by 1, essentially. When the item increases by 1, then the time taken... And the time taken increases approximately... So it increases approximately... approximately 2.64 minutes okay 2.64 minutes so that's the idea there with the gradient um, so like I said this is a very kind of common exam question um, we've got two more questions after this one which you'll see again this is very very common I think it's on all the questions here today so you get a bit of good practice with it but that's just the first question there's two marks like I said quite sharp so the very next question here, question four um, we're given the equation of the regression line of y on x, so they give us that. So we're asked to give two reasons why this might not be a valid estimate. So what they what they're trying to do here is use this regression equation to estimate the energy consumption of a country with this uh, gross national product of three thousand five hundred. So question four: What two reasons can we give? Well, the first thing is, if we look at our set of y values here, the largest one is 1,900. Now, we're, being we're asked to estimate the energy consumption when our y value is 3,500. So the first thing we can comment on is the fact that the, the value that we've been given is way past the set of the data. Um, so in other words, we're going to have to use extrapolation. But because of that, the answer is unlikely to be reliable uh, because we are extrapolating. So we make our first comment so the answer is unlikely to be reliable as we require extrapolation Okay, 3,500 is far greater. Oops, that's an S. It's far greater um, than the limit of the data set. I'll just put down the data set. It makes a bit more sense. Okay, so like we said, the 3,500 that we're asked to be basically use, it's much larger than the 1,900 that we've got. So not only very accurate. And then the second comment, um, 
hopefully you might be able to spot it. If not, the issue here is the question tells us the regression line of y on x, okay? However, what we actually want to do is estimate x using y. So essentially what we actually got here is the wrong way around. So the question tells us So the question tells us that the regression line or tells us the regression line of y on x. However, we require the regression line of x on y to estimate it the right way around. So obviously this isn't going to work either. So we require the regression line So we require the regression line of x on y there, okay? So like see, essentially it's the wrong way around. And this is a very, very common theme. Um, if you ask, you usually pick out an error with kind of the question um, or basically the estimation that they're asking you to do. These two comments are very, very common, okay? Moving on to the last question here now. Um, we've got two parts to it. And it's basically a combination of the previous two questions. So part A, we'll interpret the values of 44 and 0 0.2. And then part B, we need to just give essentially two kind of issues with the regression equation. So if we have a go at part A first. So interpreting the values, well, let's do the 44 first. So the 44, so that's essentially what we're saying here. The 44 is where it cuts the y-axis. And that y-axis, that would be when m is 0. Okay, so essentially when we don't attach any mass, then the original length, the length of the spring with no mass attached is 44 centimetres. So 44 centimetres is the length of the spring the length of the spring with no mass attached. Okay, so that's just the 44 dealt with there. The 0 0.2, again, that's the gradient. So what we're saying there is for every 1g of mass attached, so I've written it that many times, this doesn't look like a word anymore, attached. So for every 1g of mass that's attached, the spring increases by 0.2. By 0.2 centimeters. Okay, oh, 0.2 centimeters there. Um, I should say approximately, by approximately 0.2 centimeters. Okay, so that's just our two comments there. And then for part B here, I and I, I. So what's the issue of basically finding the value of S when M is 150? Well, again, refer to the question. Um, make sure you read it fully. What's the issue here? Well, we're told in the question the smallest mass is 20g and the largest mass is 100g. So the issue here again is just like we had with the previous question. This is outside the range of data. So 150g lies outside the range of data. So in that case, we would require extrapolation, and it'll be unlikely to be. It'll likely be unreliable. Extrapolation. Okay. The second comment, if we do that over here, what's the issue with this one? So the value of m when s is sixty. Again, just like we did with the previous question, like I said, these two errors are kind of always the same. Um, Essentially, the regression equation is the wrong way around. So, regression equation is wrong way around. Okay, so we require 
the regression equation. The regression equation of m on s. Okay, whereas they give s on m. Okay, so like I said, these two errors very very common, but they're always the same. But that has been just the end of this video. Like I said, quite a short one. Um, but I hope it's helped. Um, if there is any any issues or anything that you're unclear about, please just leave me a comment down below.